Hey guys, unexpected news. Alibaba just released a control net for use with Zimage Turbo. And this control net, called Zimage Turbo Fun Control Net Union, supports multiple control conditions, which are canny, head, depth, pose, and MLSD. So, using this control net, you have various ways to copy the composition from any images. In this video, let's learn how we can use it. I will be focusing only on three control conditions, which are canny, depth, and pose. So, let's get started. The download link for this control net is available in the description. Once you open the link, go to the Files and Versions tab. Here, you can find the control net named as Zimage Turbo Fun Control Netunion Dot Safatensors. Use the download button to get the control net. Also, guys, make sure your comfy UI is updated to the latest version. After the download, let's see where we need to place the control net inside comfy UI. So, open your downloads folder. Here is the control net. Let's select and cut the file. Then, open the models folder of comfy UI. Here, find the folder called model patches, open that folder, and then paste the file. That's it. Now, let's switch to Comfy UI. So first, let's refresh Comfy UI. Here, I already made a workflow, which you can check from the description. I assume you already understand most parts of this workflow because it is very similar to the one I showed in another video about Zimage Turbo. Instead of going through every node in detail, let me give you an overview of the control net-related parts of this workflow. Let's move to the bottom part of this workflow. Here, we can see a node called QN Image Diff Synth Control Net, which is added between model sampling aura flow and the K sampler. This node acts as a bridge that applies the control net guidance to the diffusion model during image generation. For loading the Z Image Turbo Fun Control Net Union, we use the model patch loader. For importing existing images, we use the load image node. Next, we have the AIO AUX preprocessor, which supports generating various control maps, for example, canny map, head map, depth map, and pose map. This node comes from a custom node pack called Comfy UI Control Net AUX. If you don't have this custom node pack, you can install it using the Comfy UI Manager, which I have already shown in various videos, so let's not repeat that process. The AIO AUX preprocessor generates the control map from the reference image. This map is then passed to the QN image diff synth control net node, which forwards it to the control net. The control net then uses this control map to guide the diffusion model during image generation. Then we have the image scale to total pixels node, which will scale the imported image to one megapixel and send it to the get image size node. This node will extract the width and height, and these values will then be used for setting the width and height of the output image. Although you can use different resolutions, I added this change so I can show you the comparison. Now, let's go back to the QN image diff synth control net node. So, depending on your needs, you may need to adjust the strength value. If you want the control net to have more influence on the output, use a higher value. If you want the control net to have less influence on image generation, use a lower strength value. And for the K sampler, I'm just using the old settings I used in another video about Z Image Turbo. Now let's start using the control net. First, we are going to use the canny map to copy the composition of the imported image. So here, I have already selected the canny edge preprocessor in the AIO AUX preprocessor node. And in the positive prompt, I have already written a description about a haunted house. Let's run the workflow and see the result. The generation is completed. Now let's take a look at the generated image. As you can see, we got a pretty good result. If we compare the generated image with the canny map we extracted from the reference image, we can see how good the result is. And it is a pretty amazing result. Now let's try another control map, which is the depth map. For the depth map, I'm going to use another image, so let's select this image of a car. Then, in the AIO AUX preprocessor, let's select depth anything V2, which is good for extracting the depth map from images. This time, we could adjust the strength of the control net, but I'm going to leave it as it is, which is 0.8. Then, for the prompt, I have some prompts in my notepad. Let's copy one of them and paste it into the positive prompt. Now let's run the workflow and see the result. So, the generation is completed. Now let's take a look at the image. The result looks good. Now let's compare the generated image with the depth map of the reference image. Just like before, the result looks good to me. Now let's try the pose map, 
which helps us copy poses from any image. So, let's open another image of a person. For the pose map extraction, we can use the Open Pose Preprocessor or the DW Preprocessor. For now, I'm going to use the DW Preprocessor. Now we need to type a prompt. I have a prompt of a woman sitting on a chair, so let's copy that and paste it into the positive prompt. Now let's run the workflow and see the result. As always, the generation is completed successfully. Let's take a look at the result. Well, the result looks good, but if we compare it with the pose map we extracted from the reference image, her right hand is not in the right position. So how can we fix this? Just increase the strength in the QN image diff synth control net node. I'm going to use a value of 0.9. Now, let's run the workflow and see the result. So the generation is completed. Now let's take a look at the image. Here is the result, it looks good. Now let's compare it with the pose map extracted from the reference image. We can see that the generation has followed the pose map better than before. I also suggest playing with the model sampling aura flow node. It can influence the details of the image generation. So guys, that's it. Test the control net by yourself and let me know what you think about this control net. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.